Then stay on your morning show. Your chance to get that thing off your chest. You just got to say it. Somebody, we got the voice change. We got the uh, name change. 877-995-4681 to call us or text 99338. Um, I can start my okay. place of banking that I use. First of all, why I'm at this bank is a, it's a long, long story. It's a Minnesota-based bank. Got the account when I was born, okay. and that's just kind of how it is. They have a great um, a great feature. They churn my card off without telling me when they think something suspicious, Ooh. and then I have to call. Yeah. Now, first of all, like, I'm very appreciative of like anti theft. I understand that, mm-hmm. but yeah. it gets to be a little bit annoying when it gets turned off. My first thought is, is it my bank or is it the card reader? Like that's the first thought, and I call my bank. And they give the security questions. I appreciate security questions. But the one they keep asking me, they didn't ask this before, was what branch did you sign up for us at? And I, It's like, I don't know. That How many oh, years ago was that? But I, I say to them, e. with all due respect, sir or madam, you can see that the uh, account was started on this date, which happens to also be my birthday. So I don't know <laughs> which branch it was started at. That yeah. is my event. Yeah. I know it's not the employee's fault, but I appreciate the security. That's my event. Riley, do you have an event? Uh, yeah. yeah. Can everybody just do us all a favor and stop being the IG police mm. about every little thing? Okay. I mean, car seats included. Uh, I'm sure. It's a, I just, yeah. I feel like I get like advice is there sometimes, but like if you're legit just picking apart every little thing on IG, like eh, don't. I mean, also you're, Fiance is a police officer. Exactly. Sure like I think, yeah. I think we kind of got it. Yeah. Thank you, though. Yeah. Rose, did you have an event for today? Yeah. Please stop blocking the aisles in the grocery store with your grocery cart. Um, yeah. It's really not hard to leave your cart in a spot where it's not going to block the entire aisle, especially if, you know, two ways. You leave it on one side and then you go to the other. And, like, it, it's really not hard. Just be a little more considerate with your carts, please. Thank you. I agree. What is your event? 877-995-4681. Lindsay in D.C., good morning. Good morning. What is your event for uh, Events Day? Uh, my event is that my husband never puts the dishes away in their appropriate location. Ah. <laughs> for, he just makes a new spot. Together for like four, and you know, gone over it multiple times, and he still never put them away correctly. So uh, oh. I'm gonna say this, Lindsay. I understand, but if I were a betty man, I think he's probably doing intentionally bad. So you just stop asking him to do it. Now, oh. I'm not saying let him off, <laughs> but like that's like sometimes for a dude, like if I just do Guess it like. Do I'll do it like 70%. That way it's still a passing grade. But yeah, you said you've been together four years? Uh, we've been together for like seven, living together uh, for four. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, at, th- at this point, we're yeah. we're in the function for a minute. <laughs> knows. What's uh, What's your husband's name, Lindsay? Alexander. Yeah, Alexander knows. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be. Gonna, he knows. I don't mean he knows to be- where it goes. betray my, my fellow man, but he, he definitely knows. I mean, it is what it is. Lindsay, do you yeah. feel better getting this vent off your chest? I do. Yes. See? You know. Cathartic for sure. Absolutely. Lindsay, thank you for calling. Yeah. Have a great day. Thank you, too. Bye. Oh, boy. We need voice change for this next one. Hold on. Fake name, Rebecca. Hold on one second. This should be good. Mm-mm-mm. Good morning. Fake name, Rebecca. Hi. Okay. So your event for Vents Day is what? I just started a new job two weeks ago, and it is absolutely awful. Oh, no. Why is it bad? So the owner is my boss, and she has not given me a good, like, experience as an employee. No training, gives me documents, and is like, read this, and expects, like, deliverables already. I've been there two weeks, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh. It's an absolutely new industry for me. Oh, and that sucks. it's just, like, the expectations are crazy. Yeah, there's there's something yeah. to be said about like poor management that doesn't know how to train or lead. I think it's very easy to throw here, mm-hmm. read this and you figure it out. But it's like, no, nah, that's not really how things work. Do you have a an exit strategy, fake name, Rebecca? I don't. I don't know what to do because okay. like I left my previous job and, and it's like two weeks in, like. I don't know. Well, I mean, to be maybe though, there's always that memes like you don't know what people are going through. Maybe the owners are stressed because of the holidays. Like maybe, maybe like once we uh, clear, like you know, I have yeah. faith. I'm putting out the positive vibes for you, Rebecca. 
Thank you. Thank and, you. And if not, yeah, she's, she's quite the micromanager. So oh, I that's the worst. Know the personality. Yeah. If if uh, worst yeah, comes to worst, like we'll that. send Eric in there, and he'll be your agent. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Have a great day. You too. Bye. You can continue your events over text 99338. It's your morning show.